ch- I see the change in letters and habits, yeah. and I often find a lot of it is like government driven. A lot of it is technology driven. The behaviour. I think a lot of graph nowadays is just bitten, you know, because you got Instagram, you got all these social media. Like, I can see someone from fucking Paris do a sick dub. And they got their style from Paris. And then, yeah, I can just copy that style. I can get any style from anywhere. Because even though I wasn't writing 20, 30 years ago, um, graph used to be like, you know, certain areas have had their certain styles. Mm. Like, Southwest would have a different style. Fucking... Yeah, I know it's that. Old Gate, they'll have a mad style. Like, yeah. But nowadays, because of social media, like, you'll... Bro, I can bite yourself from anywhere if you want to, like, to be honest. Yeah, rather than Which keep is ruined, authentic. Yeah, it's ruined, it, isn't it? Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official dot com. Street Culture TV. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Ha, ha, ha. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast live and direct, central London. Or as central as you need to be, choose to be, could be, try to be. Good luck trying anywhere else. How sponsors the mighty GK Nifty Heads have a massive 100,000 play to earn NFTs to give away to the streets. Just hit the link in the description or go to gkniftyheads.com and get ready for Hot Awards Summer 2024. Big shout out to all the shares and carers. People have been clocking from the jump. People have been uh, uh, watching from afar and uh, sharing and reposting and spreading a good word. Means the world to us, means the world to our guests. Means with all of our guests, big shout out to everybody. Uh, inside the house, we have a young gun, somebody that's shooting the breeze right now, um, hitting all sorts of uh, areas, postcodes, track slides, bits and bobs, and uh, more ZT inside the place. Oh. These, what are you saying, my brother? Oh, good man, good man. Happy How to are you? Like, a burning introduction. How was that for you? <laughs> yeah, bang it, bro, bang it. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, man, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right. Yeah. London's looking fresh right now, it's ain't it? It's looking good, it's looking good. Good, yeah, good yeah. weather. Yeah, you know, you've been good, busy man. with it as well at the oh, moment. Well, you know it, man. Yeah, what's 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 um what's been the profiling of it so far? Like, if you were to uh, see yourself like four years ago to like where you're at now, how's that? How's that? How's that feel? How so how's it feeling? Just, like expanding to more countries, trying to do like I'm focusing on Europe. Like, I want to go to Europe a lot. Mm. You know, Paris, Berlin. Like I just love them type of places. Like I went to Paris recently. It was banging. Really. Uh, and uh, yeah, going to Berlin in a couple of weeks. Oh. And I just like these places. I don't know. Good people, apart from France, like. What's the French networks people. like in in France and Germany? Like, like, how, how comparable is it? Um, I'd say like Germany, Berlin, especially, is a lot easier to paint whatever yeah. tracks, trains, all that. It's a lot easier. Yeah, but. Um, if they catch you, it's a lot worse. Like, they will beat the fuck out of you. Like, really? In Paris, they'll beat you, though. Like, I know people that have had their arms broken, like, legs broken, like, just getting beaten up. Like, here, that wouldn't happen. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. 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 That's some so fucking brutal. Rev you. That was fucking brutal, mm. man. Just for grass. That is brutal, man. Trust me. Yeah, you, even, you even, see it. You see from a certain it's side a lot of the place. danger. Like, yeah. sometimes in the moment, you don't really. You know, it's not really going through your head that you could die at any second. You, know, you can, like, trip, fall, go on third rail, you know, electrocute, you're done. Mm. But it's all part of the game, you know? But what makes uh, what makes that appealing? Especially if you're going to get beat up afterwards, um, you know what I mean? I don't know. I honestly, like, there's been times where it's, like, what, like, four in the morning, I'm out graphing, I'm like, what the fuck am I even doing? I'm like, do you really think like, that in your head? I just contemplate, like, you know, like, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm just out here just painting. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing right now, but, you know, we're here. Like, yeah. Run through, run through the, the, the emotions in your head when, when those things, when that, when, that, when that thought takes place. How do you feel? In fact, nothing. When I paint, I got a clear head, like, and that's probably why I love it so much. You know, I'm not having to think about anything else. Just get to do my piece, enjoy mm. where I'm at. Obviously, think about, like, if anyone comes, I'm still, like, wary. But, 
you know, it's just like my peaceful, like point is when yeah, I'm painting, yeah. you know. Just chilling. Yeah, it's chilling. Yeah, With I guess so. It's like zen, isn't it? Like a level yeah. of zen. Literally, literally. So you don't have to. You're not thinking about you, the bullshit in the day. You're not thinking about things you got to do. Not at all. Not at all. Which is why I love it. You know, it's a good. It's a good distraction. Yeah. Sometimes it's good. Yeah. You know, obviously, there's positives and negatives to everything. But you know, yeah. it's life, isn't it? Where did it all begin for you, V? Where, where, where did it all start? Like, probably like when I was like 13, you know, just out in Hammersmith, looking around, seeing lots of graph, you know, on the track sides. Just like noticing it, not even like really understanding it, but, you know, just seeing it about. And then um, obviously I used to skate, so like those cultures kind of combined. So I met some graphers through there. You know, um, it all started from there. I just made up a tag, started doing some shit toy stuff, you know, <laughs> like dead stickers going about, like whatever. And then started to take it serious, like when I was like 15, you know, started like properly going out bombing, you know, racking, you know, doing, doing all that, man. Good parties, getting lit. Really? <laughs> and so, uh, who who are your who are your writers of influence? Who are the people that you're like, yeah, yeah, fuck with? You like you saw from an early age. That I saw from an early age. Mm. Fuck. Southwest graph like fucking pies, you know, Lebs, like even before I knew Lebs, like I seen them about a lot, you know. Yeah. I seen We like, got pies, we got Lebs. Uh always see them man about hobo, see him about fucking you know. Who else did I see about when I was young? Kiwi. <laughs> seen Kiwi like about Kiwi. when I was young. I fucking yeah. met him the other day for the LC, first time. And I was on. like, right. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I love Southwest graphics. It's my favourite. Mm, mm. I think it's just fucking top tier. Yeah, me too. I like it. Like, I remember getting in from, what is it? Like, the, you know, Richmond, Surbiton. Yeah. Kingston. You know, you've got that whole wall. What is Richmond. that wall? That's a mad wall. You got some long wall from Richmond. Oh man, it's banging. Yeah, I love that wall. Then it always was. It's always changing. Always evolving. It's always changing, bro. Um, I know my mate Retro. He had a dub on that wall, and it's the only part of wall that has just been knocked down. <laughs> you can see if you go past it, there's just a hole in the wall. But yeah, there's banging dubs there. You know, you got lame dubs there. Yeah. yeah shit there, man. Yeah, rest in peace, lame. Um, legend. Yeah, legend, legend. Um, you have an age where those kind of characters, you know, they're, they're younger than me, but they they have an age where they kind of made their mark. Mm. Like, it was a different time back then. Like, there's a lot more tech, a lot more things to be mindful of, yeah. isn't it? Like, it's almost like the bar is getting higher and higher and higher. For anyone wanting to get into the graph scene and, and make a name for themselves, what's of your course. thoughts on that? Well, there's new graphers every day, man. Trust me. Like, you know, like I know people that have, you know, gone fucking not all city, but got very up in a very short amount of time. Like, honestly, if you really put your mind to it, you could, you can get up like that. Like, trust me. You know, track sides, all of that. I think, to me, like. I, I will always love street bombing, but to me, it's not the most important. I can walk down the street, I'll see 100, 100 names down the street. Like, cool. Like, that doesn't really mean nothing to me. Like, if I walk down the street, see a tag, like, cool, you just done a tag on the street. It's not that hard, is it? Mm. To go track sides, it's harder. To go trains, it's harder. So I think there's just more respect for people that do that. Yeah. That's my opinion. But. It's like, a lim it's like a, a, an elite group of people it's, like, it's just a different gravy man it's a different gravy even even between trackside and trains it's different gravy but yeah man i love them both <laughs> yeah like does it ever get does it ever get, ever get too much i mean you're out and about a lot does it ever get too much for you in like what way like effort wise yeah um 100 man it's a lot of effort graph is a lot of effort you know Everyone starts off as a toy. Hmm. You know? I'm still pretty shit. Um, but 
what you've got to do is practice and yeah, you'll get better. Like it's a lot of effort. Graph is a lot of effort. And having good graph is just one part of it. You need to actually get about as well, which is another whole part. Mm. Yeah. Do do you do do people that ain't into graph around you, do they get it? I mean my family hate it. Talk to me about that. Yeah, they hate it, man. But they know they can't stop it, but they're still like, you know, like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, but my friends that don't graph, I mean, they see the, like, you get the adrenaline rush, mm. but they don't understand, like, getting up and, you know, all that stuff. They don't understand that. Yeah. Which is, like, cool. Like, graph is quite hard to understand. And it's anti social as well to, to a great oh, 100%, extent. 100%. Like the the Spanish. way you got like you said earlier, you, your face, your pixelation don't do him justice. You understand? <laughs> but uh, right. like your face when you were saying at four o'clock in the morning. Trust me, like, bro. Like, what's the craziest situation you've ever been in at that time of night to get to, to make you think, fuck, what the what the actual fuck? My friends were right. <laughs> it's not even like sometimes it's not even like oh I'm out late. What the fuck? It's when I'm out late. I'm in the middle of some random town in England, you know, just like, what the hell? Like, even going out racking as, as a young age, going out to random towns and then, you know, you're there, you know, you've got your paint in your bag, but you're sitting there, there's no buses, no trains, you're like, fuck, like, what am I even doing? Yeah, yeah. You know, you've got no weed, no <laughs> drink. Headphones are off, it's all shit. battery's dead, yeah. it's all long. Graph can be long, trust me. Give me a give because this this is intriguing. Give me because you just explained a, a very a, a small snapshot of what yeah. that can be like. What's the day in life of of a writer in twenty twenty four at the age you are? In twenty twenty four, yeah. Well, I know people are still racking out there, so probably fucking wake up, you know, go out, meet some friends. Go rack in, you know, go get your paint, however, whether you buy it or you rack it, go somewhere, get your paint, whether it's local or like two, three hours away. Cause better know, when you go like three hours out of London, like it's easier to rack and there's a lot of better paint shops you can go to. But it's also getting there, that's a mission. Oh, getting there is long, trust me. Especially, I personally think Southwest travel is bad. Yeah, When you go out of town, you'll see how bad that travel is. Like, you're waiting, like, 45 minutes at every bus, 45 minutes. It's long. It's long. I hate it. Yeah. But I love it. Like, it's, I've got really good memories from, you know, doing those type of missions, like, travelling that long. Mm. But, no, man. Yeah, it's great. Like, like, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess the end result is the end result. Yeah, trust me. And if you're rolling with other people, then it's fun. Yeah, yeah, of course. And especially when you end up with 50 tins in your bag, then you're laughing, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good couple of days, right? Yeah, man, it's a good day. It's good get a few dubs out of that. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Um, where'd the name come from? Mm. I don't know, man. It's a pretty new name. Like, I've... Like, I've had loads of tags, man. I've never been able to sit right with a tag. Why is that? I don't know. I just get bored of it. <laughs> I just get really bored of it, man. What, you bought just bored of painting it? Like, obviously, like, I've been given names and then I've wrote them for a bit and just sort of writing them. But, yeah, I don't even know how I got these, to be honest. I just fucking... I was just writing down hours, like hours and hours, just trying to find a name one time, so I was trying to change it. Mm. And then, yeah, just like, I just like the letters, you know? Because you can do these letters sharp. Like, I love that sharp London style. Like, mm. The chisel kind of... Oh, yeah, I love it, man. It's my favourite. I think London style is just... You, it doesn't get any better than it's, that. Yeah, it's really aggressive. 100%. It's, you know, you've got, like, zombie... Huh who can also vary bear styles. He does mad like, yeah. oh, I love that. Fucking who else? Well, he had switched, he switched his names a bunch of times. Afro, yeah, well, Ray, all of them. And they're all fucking TT. Yeah, and they all got up. Yeah, I know. But he gets up a lot, trust me. Well, not nowadays, but he still fucking, he smashed it, bro. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he smashed it. Yeah, there's a couple of dons that have got that chisel thing down pat. 
When I think of the OGs, and obviously your OGs would be different. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I see the ch- I see the change in letters and habits, yeah. and I often find a lot of it is like government driven. A lot of it is technology driven. The behaviour. I think a lot of graph nowadays is just bitten, you know, because you've got Instagram, you've got all these social media. Like, I can see someone from fucking Paris do a sick dub and they got their style from Paris and then, yeah, I can just copy that style. I can get any style from anywhere. Because even though I wasn't writing 20, 30 years ago, um, graph used to be like, you know, certain areas have had their certain styles. Mm. Like, Southwest would have a different style. Fucking... Yeah, I know it's that. Old Gate, they'll Mm. have a mad style, like, yeah. But nowadays, because of social media, like, you'll... Bro, I can bite a style from anywhere if you want to, like, to be honest. Yeah, rather than Which is ruined, authentic. Yeah, it's ruined it, hasn't it? It's made graph a lot easier. Like, people aren't trying to spend their time making their own letters. They just get... I ever ask someone to give them a dub and then just copy that whole thing for the rest of their life. Which, rest of their lives. I know some of you lot do. <laughs> you know who you are, you fucking... Shut, shut, get shut, Getting given your dubs. <laughs> <laughs> But they, but you got to start somewhere. Of course. But then you got to develop it to your I've own. I've obviously been given dubs before, but personally, I've never decided to use them. Mm. You know, you just got to develop that yourself. That's what graph is. Because then that's what localizes, like that, that regionalizes it as well. Yeah, of course, man. Of course. You should take inspiration, but don't take it too much. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. obviously, in my opinion, graph in London nowadays is just people biting off little bits of people's dubs mm. and just kind of putting it together and switching it up a little bit. How do you feel about that? Which is like, you know... You like that? Not really, bro. Because it loses... It t- can't looks, do nothing about it, no. Because it loses context. Of course. Um, it's, for me, style is personality. Like, I'll meet someone and for the first time and I'll know their style and I'll be like, yeah... You better kind of match up to your style. I know it sounds weird. It sounds weird as shit, but like style is like kind of who you are. It's personal, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of the wild styles? Things like that? Um, the unreadable stuff. Wild style, like it's cool. I personally don't do it because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you're able to do that, sick. Obviously, it's not my favorite, but you know. It's there. I, I like it sometimes. Like the colours are banging and wild stars. Full producty. But I don't rate European and all that shit. Why is why is that? Because everybody from London has said that one in one one point or another. What is it? What is it? Um. To me, their dubs looks like throw ups. Like why your your dub shouldn't be like round and curvy and bubbly. Like it's all just crap. I hate it. I actually hate it. And especially when a London writer is then using European style, like, what are you doing? Like, it's just terrible. Uh, I don't know. Some people can, like, obviously I've met people from, like, other countries in Europe where they have really nice dubs, but just, like, majority of Europe, uh, apart from London, uh, it's just dead. I hate it, man. Even, like, when I paint with tourists in London, and then I, like, they come to London, I take them somewhere. I just look at their dub and I'm like, fucking hell, I hate it. It's ugly. Yeah, they do have a different kind of look. It's probably good in their country, but in, like, here it's dead. And, like, throw-ups. Like, throw-ups is not a thing in London. There's people that got banging throw-ups out there, though. But just, like, it doesn't really mean anything yeah. in the city. Do you think it's just because we're, we're kind of used to a certain yeah, look of London? Yeah, we're used to dubs. What right. about what about outside of London? What do you mean? Like I don't know, uh, Birmingham or Leeds or oh, um, Glasgow, whatever. Like do you, you, you know, do you see the London, the London look? Mm. Or maybe not. Not really. But do you but do you like that? Do you like the styles? I love them fucking trains. Their trains are sick. Newcastle trains. I love. Yeah, they're killing Liverpool them. banging. You know, Isle of Wight. Like, they've obviously taken the old district lines and put them in service there. Really? And painted it as a SWR livery. They've done that? Yeah, man. So, the, the what, the painted trains in the Isle of Wight? The old one doors in um, 
No District way. Ones. Yeah, man. They're banging. That's sick. So yeah. what? They painting them in none of white? Yeah. Wow, yeah. how are you getting away with a small island like I know, that? Some small island. I, I th- wanted to go there. I went there once. I've never been there. You could drive around it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man. I love like, you know, obviously there's gonna be people with sick dubs in every country that pe- people from this city mm. will like. Like Tran, you know, Tran doesn't have Europe, European style and he's from Paris and he's got, yeah, like he's probably got one of my favorite dubs, like he's pretty sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone makes tracks. Yeah, sick. yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, New York. Mm. Would you go to New York? New York's got. I yeah, love man, the New York I've got some style. friends in New York. Uh, I would definitely go there. Yeah, I rate. You know, I rate New York style. You know, that, that whole major look. I mean, I've got the money for it because it's expensive to go there. It's really jarring. Like, it's like what, like mm. nine hundred quid mm, to mm, get there. It's a lot of money. Flight. Yeah, and then you've got a rest there as well. You've That's got a expensive. Yeah, and obviously spending money like when it's out. Mm. Yeah, man. Yeah, so madness. Right, talking to madness. Tell us, tell me a crazy story. Crazy story. In fact, only a couple of crazy stories coming out of this geezer. Crazy Come story. On. Yeah. Give us a couple of, give us a couple of corkers. All right, all right. Um, I was going to this yard just on my ones. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm climbing this free spike, and it catches a bit of my sock when I'm climbing over. So obviously, when I go, I haven't noticed yet. So I go to swing my um foot over the free spike and I'm just by myself and it's caught my socks I'm like oh shit like and I can't like, my, my arms aren't that long innit uh, so I'm trying to go get it to like unclip it from the free spike but I literally oh, can't oh fuck and then like yeah so my legs kind of like up and then fucking I go to like swipe my leg down like to push it down to where I am so I can like stand to, to, to get, to get, yeah yeah and then it catches the inside of my shoe as well. <gasps> so my shoes come off, my socks ripped. What? Yeah, so, so how are you positioned on the thing? Like... <sighs> Hanging upside like, down or some like, shit? Like literally like this. <laughs> and I'm like holding on here. My other foot's like down yeah. here as well. And it's literally like that. And then I just put it down and then my, everything just comes off. Yeah, really? So, so I'm standing there, no sock. Yeah, my socks drop down. Um, my fucking shoe is just on the free spike. It's what? just dangling by the free spike. And, um, yeah, I'm just by myself, fucking foot out, you know? So Some how... shit, so, London weather is bad. So what, did you go painting afterwards? Oh, yeah. What, with one Still, foot, with one shoe? I, gr- I like, kind of leaned over and, like, you know, like, tipped it off and then got it on the ground, but I was painted with no socks and so. I mean, this sounds, to, to, to be fair... I still done it. Got away. Fucking, it was sick. I'll never go do that spot again. It's like a one and done, but... I mean, it sounds fucking high as well. It's oh, like... bro. I know I hate climbing. Because it's all in the dark as well. That's another thing. It's all in the oh, dark. It's, it's dark. It had rained previously in the day, so it was already just shit weather. I didn't, I didn't really even want to paint. To be honest, I'd stunned it because I was bare bored. Really? Yeah, I was going on holiday, so I had to get rid of the pain. I was kind of just wanted to use it. Really? But, man, that was long. Yeah, it is long. And I hate wearing shoes with no socks. It's so uncomfortable to me. Yeah, it's fucking horrible. But, I've, like, the risk... My socks is... probably still there, but... <laughs> it's probably still there. But risk assessment, I mean... Every day, every day, every day. Don't I'm you? just happy you didn't catch my skin, man. But doesn't it? Then... I've had three spikes catch my skin. It's so yeah, of course, of course. It's the fucking worst, and and there's no there's no letting letting it go once it's, it's it's they're so fucking sharp and horrible. The more you move, the worse it gets. Yeah. Oh, I hate it. And by the way, don't try this home. Yeah. Don't, don't try it at home. Don't try it at home. Don't climb for you. No, in general, just it's, don't climb three spikes. It's man. a nice little story. I don't even this. do it no more. Just don't yeah. climb three spikes. You yeah. Know? Don't do it. It's not worth it. But ra- risk assessment, bruv, like... Do you ever do you ever worry about, you know, getting hurt or anything? Does it ever get um, too much f- yes. like, for your constitution? But I've never had it, like, too bad. Like, I know... You have plenty of friends, have. You know who have. you are. Um, I met this guy who fucking was climbing a free spike 
bro, his whole, his whole, like, finger from this up is just gone. Really? It's gone. Cut it off? From a free spot. <gasps> Got caught in a free spike, pulled it, and just ripped his fucking finger, like half his finger off. What? That is fucking grim. Man. So, kids, Big don't, up you. don't climb free Whoever you are. Yeah. I mean, it's. Again, it's just, just highlighting the, the risks, man. Like, it's fucking mad. And that's just the th three spike, never mind getting out on tracks and shit. Oh, yeah, man. I used to spend hours and hours on track sides. Even if I wasn't painting, I would be on track side just to... I would walk home from track side. I don't know. Tracks are lit. I love tracks. When yeah. they're not on, they're good. When trains are running, it's a bit more gelling in, but it's way more dangerous, man. Trust me. What's it, the quietness? Is it the tranquility of it all? Like, oh, yeah, it's just peaceful. Like, you're just, no one else is there. Apart from, like, Foxes, yeah. <laughs> and you know, I've seen mad shit on track sites like you know, dead animals and all that grim shit. Oh, yeah, it's horrible. Track sites are dirty, like, unless you're literally walking on tracks, it's calm. But if you're like in some bush or like up on some fucking shit ledge, like, it's horrible, man. It's really? dirty. What's the most gruesome thing you've seen on track sites? Yeah, I don't know. I've seen a lot of flat animals <laughs> <laughs> like literally or just like track kill just literally track kill i hate track kill and i always see it as well i don't know what my love badges is. and shit like that yeah foxes like pigeons I've seen lots of pigeons but mostly foxes mm. yeah mostly but it's all disgusting when you see it yeah. it's all a bit like ah oh, fuck that's not nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you just got to walk past it, look at it, and it's like, oh. <laughs> no, I can't be fucking up. Yeah, lick it a bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you dirty bugger. What's the future, bruv? Like, how do you how do you forecast your future? I mean, you know, once again, you're, you're a young man. Like, you've, you know, you've got the, the world ahead of you. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know, keep painting till I get some proper responsibilities, like kids or something. Mm. Like, I actually got shit to do. Um, but, no, nah, just till then, keep painting. Maybe take a couple breaks here and there just to chill, but... Uh. Actually, I have a question for you, because, you know what I mean, you're a good, you're a good candidate for this question. Because, um, you know, in my circumstances, uh, moving out, moving out of this space, yeah. uh, you're one of the last people to... Uh, Come on, guy. <laughs> One of the last of the on, guests man. that could be here. Um, the OG podcast. Um, uh, d d d one thing I've re I recognise in the 15 years I've been here and 500 plus podcasts is the things that I did in the first six years of being here, not only would I not do them 10 years later, mm. but I also realised that some of my behaviour comes back at you within the context of your living space do you know what i mean yeah. like because that's what age does like what if you you know eight years from now you're like yo this ain't me but yet the will. repercussions i probably will you reckon 100%. but what if the repercussions i won't be look i won't be some fucking no disrespect to the older generation out there, but I'm not personally going to be a 40 year old right now. No? No, fuck no. Bro. Why is that? It's not for me, bro. I'm not going to end my graph career doing eagles. No offense, but I'm not. I'd rather just like, I'm here for a good time, you know, not a long time for this graph thing. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. And me personally, all this I shit's like for younger people, man. Like, yeah, you can't, you, you don't, you don't. I personally don't think you should, like, obviously there's still people that smash it out there, but I'm not, as as a grown person, but I'm not going to lie. I probably won't even be in London, to be honest. Yeah, what, you think you're going to move on? 100%. Go so, okay, so back to my point then. So what if, like, the... the Colombia, find me a wife or something. <laughs> yeah, he's in Colombia. Yo, he's even got his ethnicity, important point. He's like, got ideas. <laughs> My kids are gonna be thorough, thoroughbred. You know what I mean? Some, South American, yeah. um, South American girl. 
But uh, going back to my original point, so what if any of the repercussions come back to you at a date when you're not really on it anymore? E.K. like getting nicked for it. I don't know, not really getting nicked. He's an outstanding well, member of the, exactly. of the public. A good civilian. Yeah, he's a good <laughs> civilian, good citizen. Yeah, outstanding member. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. But, yeah, like, you know, just things, you know what I mean? Like, the, you know where I'm coming yeah. from. Like, what if there was something where you're like, fuck, didn't see that one coming. You know, just like... For, I guess in a in a in a uh, member of public kind of way, you get a doorbell one morning and it's your kid of eight years old standing there saying hi, daddy, just shit like that. But do you know what I mean I'm talking from a more graffiti point of view? Like yeah. if something and you're just like fuck, no, I wish I hadn't done that. What would you how how would you process that? Like not do a certain like yeah plot or like right, yeah something like yeah. not do a certain thing in graph. Um, well, I've regretted a lot of things in graph, man. Trust me. Do you? Of course. What's your biggest regret? Fucking not meeting some people, some certain people. Really? Hundred percent. But I met like obviously, you know, people lose friends, people gain friends. But I think the people that I've now met have like changed my ways of graph. Like if I was still painting with people that I was painting with like two years ago, like I wouldn't really be doing what I'm doing now. Really? I'll probably still be some, like, fucking skateboarder. Really? So what, so you, like, you've levelled up? <laughs> that sounds so cocky, but, yeah, like, obviously I've, I'm doing more, like, important shit than I was doing when I first started or who I was chilling with before. Yeah. But Which then gives you that notoriety and that acclaim. Yeah. The brand. Yeah. The name. <laughs> I'm not even that person. I don't even think I'm like prolific or like even up that much. Like, there's been way better legends on here than me. You know. Yeah, but the difference is, is the, the the speed in which you're doing it. Yeah, I guess I'm still young, you know. Like, yeah, that's the other thing as well. It's the speed and the age range. It's that like you're going at it. Come on. <laughs> Come on my God. It's been fucking awesome to have you on. And in first of many, I do hope so as well. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? Um, um, any shout-outs? Anyone you want to give a um, heads yeah, up to? Man, big up, big up Cough. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we'll take Cough. Linking off. up this interview, Big Up Cough. You know, Levs, Dace. Yep. yep. Uh, who else, man? Techno, Big Up Techno, yeah. Alert. Yeah, man. Yeah, there you go. And ZT and that. Come <laughs> on, ZT and us. Come on. Fees in the place. Uh, Killer Keller podcast ally was out of fashion. Another wicked one. And like I said, we're out of this space. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Hail it up. Uh, onward and next into the new. And, uh, yeah. Remember, crime don't pay, but neither do they. Don't do anything we talked about and don't do anything I wouldn't do. You stay lucky. Peace. <laughs>